I mean, so I'm, I, I want to ask you, like, what, what happens when that lag time you were talking about becomes zero? Is the, is the, is it possible for it to become zero? And if yeah. so, then what I is think that? that? Is that the singularity? I think it's going to depend on the conversations that can have around it. And that's why techno optimism is so paramount right now. It's so important right now is to extend these conversations to have this ripple of associations that allow us to perceive a future that doesn't involve bombs, that doesn't involve the, the double edged sword of technology. It, some people would argue, though, that that's a necessity because there is evil intrinsic in humanity. And that's why I plead... Is that where the whole firewalling... This is, well, yeah, because I feel and I make the distinction between myself as a technological being versus a biological being. And so my biology is secondary to my technology because I don't feel with my without my technology, I would not be... I would not be human without my technology. Even though humans have been human with about it for centuries our definition of human changes nah. and so that's that see language changed the definition of humans and so again it language is is fundamental in this and so i'm changing it again in myself because i resonate more as a technological being because i extend what i am i extend my biology beyond that that evolution provided me when i get into my exoskeleton that is a car i become part of that car i can feel every nuance of it i exist externally to my biology in my technology and that sphere of assimilation is growing ever more right now it it is assimilating it's the internet of things it is it is connecting and has the ability to connect and merge and assimilate with the collective mind the extended mind of humanity that we've connected across the globe i have the opportunity to talk to to communicate with every corner of the world right now